can't forget them. Can't forget them. Can't forget them. Can't forget them. We can't forget them. Can't forget them. Can't forget them. Nah, man, I'll never let them. Cause that's my dog. That's my dog. That my dog. That's my dog. Cause that's my dog. That's my dog. That my dog, TKO, we gon' send you off. We can't forget him. Can't forget him. Can't forget him. Can't forget him. We can't forget him. Can't forget him. Can't forget him. Nah, man, I'll never let him. Cause that's my dog. That's my dog. That my dog. That's my dog. Cause that's my dog. That's my dog. That my dog, TKO, we gon' send you off. We gon' send you off, bro. Man, where do I start, though? Um, let's see, I could start. Um, I'll just start where we, uh, when we met. So we are in uh, Miss Goulden's gym class, uh, freshman year at uh, Racine Case. What was that, 96? It had to be 96, I think, so. Yeah, man, I thought uh, I thought I had the crispiest clothes, man. I went, I used to go like a good month without wearing the same thing twice. You know, back then that was, you know, high priority, things like that matter. But, you know, not so much anymore. But uh, anyway, so you would show up every single day just as geared as I was, man. You had, you know, fresh clothes, fresh kicks, brand name, everything. And, you know, people noticed that stuff back then, you know. You know, it's a high school day, so you know. To be honest, I was a little salty. I was like, "Damn, this dude, you know, he's fresh, fresher than I am, you know." And uh, you know, it's a little intimidating, but uh, you know, we instantly clicked though, just off of that, man. So, uh, you know, we'd be in the back of Miss Goulden's class, you know, cracking jokes. I think she she probably hated us. I bet she did. So. <laughs> Anyway, man, we, uh, you know, we clicked from that point on, though, and, uh, you know, we're bonded ever since then, so, um, I remember you used to live, uh, used to live not too far from Case, you know, it's where your parents still live now, and I used to stay out in Georgetown at first, before I moved out to, uh, Illinois Street, and, uh, you know, my friends became your friends, and vice versa, you know, met a lot of people through you, man, and, you know, some lifelong friends, so, um, I remember, uh, let's see, sophomore year, you got that Geo Metro, the all black with the, uh, manual shift, man, I thought, uh, I thought you were gonna kill me in that thing, you used to drive like a hundred miles an hour in this little bitty Geo storm, you know, fresh off your, um, your temps, <laughs> driving this little mug everywhere man so you said you kept getting those uh, unnecessary acceleration tickets because you used to like burn rubber at the stoplights and you kept getting pulled over for that and eventually I, I got that uh that bright yellow geo storm we used to be in them streets man so uh yeah those are the days dude you know let me see what else remember uh let me see we went to, uh, I remember we went to Florida. Uh, your, our parents let us take a road trip out there because Brent lived there. He um, he went to FAMU. We drove 19 hours straight down to Florida. And uh, it was a stick shift, so I couldn't drive it. I didn't know how to drive stick, so you drove the whole way, man, the whole way. We got pulled over in um, Georgia, like this little bitty hick town. Then the officer pulled us over. He's like, you know, it was straight out of a movie, you know, like, hey, uh, what you boys doing around these parts? You know, I noticed you have a Wisconsin license plate. You know what you doing down here? And man, I thought I thought they were going to slap some like Jim Crow stuff on us or something. I thought we were going to be locked up. And I didn't know what was going on, man. I was spooked. But, you know, we got through it and had a blast out at uh, FAMU with Brent. You know, I saw some things I never saw before out there. So, uh, yeah, great times, man. I still got some videos from that. So, but yeah, rest of the high school, you know, it was a blast. I remember, you know, we both made prom court. 
Uh, you on, uh, what do you want? You on most attractive in our class? You had the ladies chasing you, bro. <laughs> no joke. And, uh, let me see. Yeah, can't, oh, can't forget, you know, meeting your family. You know, Phil became my little brother. You know, Brent was my big brother. Your parents are always so nice and, you know, inviting to me, man. Your crib is definitely the spot, man. Especially after you got that pool. Had a couple pool parties. Probably shouldn't tell your parents that, but <laughs> we did when they went out of town. But, um, yeah, man, me, you, you know, Chapel, Packy, Terrell, um, you know, I know I'm missing a lot of people, but, you know, we're like glue, bro. We miss you. We will. We can't forget them. Can't forget them. Can't forget them. Can't forget them. We can't forget them. Can't forget them. Can't forget them. Nah, man, I'll never let them. Cause that's my dog. That's my dog. That my dog. That's my dog, cause that's my dog That's my dog, that my dog TKO, we gon' send you off We can't forget him Can't forget him, can't forget him Can't forget him, we can't forget him Can't forget him, can't forget him Nah, man, I'll never let him Cause that's my dog That's my dog, that my dog that's my dog, cause that's my dog That's my dog, that my dog TKO, we gon' send you off Alright, so fast forward to um, college, uh, university, uh, higher education So we um, end up both getting accepted to uh, UW-Madison Man, I was so geeked, so I mean that was a that was a school man that was a, that was a place to be if you're from Wisconsin you know so man I was geek so I remember you went early uh, you were in uh, Badger Boy State got invited to that um, so that was cool so I actually came up uh, came and visited um, you for that man that was my first experience you know in Madison like ever except for I mean I remember when we went to state uh, for basketball. And then uh, Tehran hit that three <laughs> the, uh, right before the half, and we ended up winning. And uh, uh, Juice was on that team, man. That, that was that was a, that was the times right there. But anyway, um, so I got to Madison freshman year. I straight clown my way to a a, a sparkling a 1.67 GPA. My first semester, couldn't have done any worse, really. <laughs> and I don't think you did too much better, but it was definitely, you know, culture shock. Like, a lot going on, a lot of partying. But, you know, I ended up turning my stuff around, but, you know, you didn't, wasn't really the thing, man. So, uh, you went and uh, ended up uh, uh, going out to FAMU. You know, you weren't really feeling the campus that you dub or the lack of diversity, so... Anyway, yeah, we kept in touch, you know, we had different different college experiences, I could say. Um, so I started, that was around the time, you know, I started getting heavy into music production and rapping and, you know, creating, uh, mainly with stills and tea. And then you ended up uh, a couple years later, I think a year or so or whatever it was, you came back from Florida and then we started getting down and, you know, you started sharing my love for the music. So that was another way that, you know, you and I started clicking, man. So, you know, I made that Rainy Day Opus album, you know, I had to get you on there. <laughs> then uh, you started working with, uh, closely with Corey, Phil, and Rob. You guys uh, created that group, The Last Members. Uh, yeah, that was dope, man. We had some good times, had some sessions up in uh, Madison. So, uh, yeah, that was dope. So, yeah, man, you all, you always been a creative dude, man, ever since school, you know, high school. You know, whether it be art, uh, music, you know, you start getting in photography. Um, that Black Thought picture you did, man, that's still... You know, still dope, man. I think it's probably, uh, you know, hanging on somebody's wall right now. But you always had that spirit, man, that creativity. And you, you know, definitely, definitely an artist at heart. Love. We can't forget them. Can't forget them. Can't forget them. Can't forget them. We can't forget them. 
Can't forget them, can't forget them, nah man, I'll never let them Cause that's my dog, that's my dog, that my dog That's my dog, cause that's my dog That's my dog, that my dog, TKO, we gon' send you off We can't forget them, can't forget them, can't forget them can't forget them, we can't forget them. Can't forget them, can't forget them. Nah, man, I'll never let them. Cause that's my dog. That's my dog. That my dog. That's my dog. Cause that's my dog. That's my dog. That my dog. TKO, we gon' send you off. So then, um. I ended up uh, finishing my degree at a MMI, Madison Media Institute, and then uh, you came up to Madison, and uh, you moved in with me, Hanson, and uh, Noah uh, over by the Capitol. I can't remember the name of the street, but it was on the third floor. And, uh, you know, that was somewhat short-lived, but I remember uh, you were there, you were working at the Great Dane. I think you liked that job, man. I, I think you really did, so... Um, and then, uh, eventually I think you moved back to, uh, Racine after a little bit of time and, uh, went back to Parkside. Man, you're always about, you know, always learning, always trying to improve yourself, man. So, um, so I ended up moving to Atlanta, um, for a while and, you know, kept you, kept you informed on the studio life, you know, and, uh, what was going on out there. So that uh didn't didn't all pan out but it was a learning experience and i'll never trade that but anyway so i came back to uh wisconsin after a little bit and um uh, i remember you know life changed a lot you don't end up uh having a uh, darius my first son so that was a you know true blessing and you know i remember you came up to see him and you know holding you holding him for the first time and you know that you know that would always stick with me, man. So that was ill. So, um, so yeah, man. After that, you know, things changed for me completely. You know, stopped partying and really, you know, kind of focused my life. Got serious about my career. Um, and uh, so yeah, that that's kind of a turning point for me. But you know, we always stay tight no matter where. You know, whatever fork in the road that we took. You know. Um, so yeah, so then I guess, uh, yeah, and I end up uh, having the pleasure of uh, getting to meet Katie, you know, eventually that was a, that was a new chapter in your life, and you know, uh, that was, that was great, I remember you, uh, I was living with Bonnie at the time, and you, you know, I got to meet her, so, uh, you know, shout out to her, so, um, so yeah, then, um, what was it, 2012, ended up proposing to my wife, and couldn't wait to ask you to stand up in my wedding, man. So, you know, that was an honor. You know, I appreciate you representing me, you know, always. So, you know, uh, let me see what happened then. You know, a few years passed. Um, a couple of kids more <laughs> on my end, you know, and then, you know, things were kind of coasting and, you know, got the unfortunate news that uh, Phila passed away, man. That was a you know tragedy none of us were ready for you know you held you held it together but you know i know that tore you apart inside man that, that was your little dude so um i know you know i'm still feeling that to this day and you know i still will you know with the loss of you man that that hole is never gonna you know fill itself but you know try to get by every day man so but you know i'm gonna choose to focus on the good times and you know celebrate your life you and fill up man so you know, the short time you guys are here, you know, the times that we spent together were awesome, man. Never forget that. So, you know, there's, there's few people in this world I could say that, you know, I completely could be myself around. You know, you're definitely, definitely one of those, man. Uh, and yeah, man, if, if everything is everything is the same as the last time we spoke, you know, you may uh, have one on the way right now. So. I hope uh, he or she uh, looks just like you, bro. So, well, you'll live on, man. You know, all the creativity and, you know, the positive vibes you put out into the world. You know, I'm sure, you know, I'll be walking past, you know, something on the street or, you know, I see some piece of art or, you know, something creative. And, you know, 
uh, or like hear someone's voice or hear a laugh that sounds like yours and you know be be reminded of what you meant to me you know and the people around you so straight up man you know with all my love you'll be missed my brother love you always TKO we can't forget him can't forget him can't forget him can't forget him we can't forget him can't forget him can't forget him nah man i'll never let him cause that's my dog that's my dog not my dog that's my dog cause that's my dog that's my dog that my dog tko we gon send you off we can't forget him can't forget him can't forget him can't forget him we can't forget him can't forget him can't forget him nah man i'll never let him cause that's my dog that's my dog not my dog that's my dog cause that's my dog that's my dog that my dog tko we gon send you off TKO, we gon' send you off. Uh, or like hear someone's voice or hear a laugh that sounds like yours and you know be be reminded of what you meant to me, you know, and the people around you. So straight up, man, you know, with all my love, you'll be missed, my brother. Love you always. TKO.